All right. Got a fridge. Let's go look at it. It's got, I don't know. And so, I hope I'm gonna be able to unload this. By myself. Small, it's a uh, 10 cubic feet. But, should do the trick for us, for now. Fit the space, fit through the door. It's virtually new, we got a good price for uh, off of Facebook Marketplace, so yeah, uh, we are contemplating spray painting it because white is boring. So we'll see how that goes. Stay tuned. still very cold. They were using it just before we got it. It's to be wiped out, but otherwise it's really brand new condition. Inside the fridge. The shelf there. Simple, but other than what's in the bus right now. Got a few marks on that side from driving it home, but it's not gonna matter if we paint it, right?
Okay, getting ready to do this. We did silver black and then the rest stainless soap. First, this can. Ready to go. Scuffing. Wow, Holland is so bad this year. There's been no rain for a while. A few weeks, maybe, beginning of May. Now we're a couple weeks into June. Uh, anyway, it's like six weeks of very little, if any, rain. And right at the same time, all the tree pollen. So it has been really nasty. Allergy season this year for people who have allergies. Harden the sniffles. Just a spot in masking. Key for me is getting painted. That's stupid. All that masking. Missing one spot. No. Oh.
I thought I'd just show you a close-up of what I'm doing here. So I went through with the blue tape to get my finished edge. By the way, I'm, I'm no professional painter, but this just made sense to me. And then I'm coming back in with the cheaper masking tape, because the blue is so uh, more expensive. So I've got this cheaper painter's masking tape. And I'm just coming in with that. Here's on it. So just insetting it a little. And then bringing the plastic in. Just has to be sealed, covered. Like so. And roll the corner just to And we'll keep doing that. All right, so I use this to now I have to do that precise finished edge while I'm taping on the plastic. All right. And The thing with painting is that prep work takes almost longer than the actual painting, at least with spray painting. Some guys can go in and just, like house painters, they go in with, with guides, you know, and shields and pieces of cardboard and stuff, and they'll just keep, you know, spraying. I'm not like that. I don't have that much experience, so I mask it off. Sanding block here with the same paper on it. Suppose if I was really going to do this 100% the right way, I would take off the doors and go behind the hardware so then we could change the doors, but I don't feel like it. I'm going to trust that we don't need to switch the door swing. I'm not 100% sure on that. But I'm going to leave it alone for now. Fingers crossed. Let's see if that works out for me. Just about ready to start painting. I'll show you what I got here. 
and explain what I've got set up. It's potential thunder shower for the next hour or two. So I have this plastic set up here. Let me show you. Flip this around. Makeshift cover, hopefully I won't need it. Of course, Murphy's Law. I got it tacked up here under the edge of the roof. And then I've got a sanding pad over here holding it up. The ladder with the board. I've got a stand over here. And I've got wood wrapped around with some old deck wood there. So, and of course, it's, you know, clear right now, sunny, blue sky, but the radar showed a good chance, 40% or so. So I figure if I didn't do it, it would rain. And if I did do it, it wouldn't rain. So what are you gonna say? You know, let's get started painting. I'm using this stainless steel finish with steel in it for metal. And uh, we'll see, the cap looks like sort of brushed. So we'll see, see how it works. with cobbled together work areas, like stepping on your supports through your ring cover.
so I used up three cans. I thought I was gonna get it done with three cans. Ha! <laughs> so that didn't work. I'm gonna go get another four cans of paint and uh, trying to get this thing done. And yeah, I'll uh, keep you posted. Okay. Hey everybody. Um, I just wanted to take a few minutes and update, finish out a video here. I had a bunch of footage uh, about the last half of the fridge painting process and I ran out of space and thought that I had moved those videos to my video drive which I had not and then I deleted them the originals and they are no longer available and because of some settings on my computer setup there I can see thumbnails of what should be but no actual video so that's super fun I've gotten over it whatever it is what it is and I'm just gonna fill you in on the process so what you've already seen is the crazy amount of time that went into masking off using plastic you know masking tape taking the gasket out of the door um, sealing it all up whatever and then so I then I, I just started painting with the stainless steel spray paint and that stuff looked great except it went on really difficult I got a lot of overspray that was just rough bits of metal not um, like it, it was really textured and rough and I didn't like that at all so I went through three three cans of that and then went back to get more and that, that those three cans only only covered probably maybe a quarter or a half ish of the fridge and not really like a finished coat I really thought it was gonna cover much better than it did um, probably should have used like a gray primer first um, one thing I learned that that would have probably made it better um, because the primer is a lot cheaper than the metallic paints anyway I went back to get more paint from Lowe's and they didn't have any more of the stainless paint of course so then I was scrambling to figure out what to do so then I got um, then I got an aluminum uh, one, it was like a metallic aluminum, I think it was aluminum or, or kind of grayish. Um, and I did, I think, four, maybe four or five cans of that and, and I still didn't like how the finish was coming out. So then I went back and got hammered silver, a hammered finish, and so that that one, the, the finished coating and color and everything was was the best. It was okay. Um, anyway, so I sprayed that, got the whole, you know, thing covered, fridge, freezer, door, the sides, the top. Um, and I ended up not doing part of the bottom because I, I realized that it was going to be covered by the cabinet next to it so why waste the paint on that and um, and then it sat for probably a week or two before I could find help to get it in the bus and in the process of getting in the bus it, it, it's 24 inches wide and the door is basically 24 inches wide so it's really like the biggest sized fridge <laughs> that would fit through the door and in the process of carrying you know maneuvering it through the door because it has to go up an angle and turn to go down and back into where it was needed, needed to go. So we got it in and scratched up the side and, and some doors. And I have some footage uh, that I'll put in here of um, how it turned out. We'll have more footage later when the fridge is actually positioned and set. Um, because I had it in, I thought I was, I was about ready to put the brackets on it to secure it. And uh, then we came up against a snag in the ceiling, which will be in an upcoming video where we ended up having to pause everything we were doing and 
uh, redo work in the ceiling, which was really frustrating, but <clears throat> in order to do it right, it was worth pausing the other stuff and, that, and taking the time to correct the, uh, the amount of insulation that was in under part of where the ceiling had been finished. You've seen in the, some of the first walkthrough tours where the ceiling looks finished. Um, and now it doesn't because we're in the middle of redoing part of that. So that's coming up. Um, stay tuned for that. So looking back, I kind of wish I just left the fridge white and not spent the time on it. I could have gotten a lot of other stuff done and then further along with bathroom building, shower building, um, and, and other work that needs to be done. So, yeah, what is, you know, live and learn, right? This is part of the process. So, and that's part of why we're sharing these videos because um, other people are probably interested in converting vehicles. And I know we would have found this kind of content very useful. We watched a lot of other um, YouTubers doing their builds and have learned a lot and referencing them multiple times in, during this process and we'll continue to i'm sure so because why reinvent the wheel right i mean if somebody's done it and they've documented how they did it and what worked and what didn't then that makes it easier and quicker for us to do it and get the hell out of here uh and start the journey right get on the road so that is a quick rundown of the rest of the fridge process and um now it's time to go back back to work gotta get busy got stuff to get rid of got stuff to clean and prep and get ready to sell and i've got a massive amount of work to build so until next time take care